This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. Today, you're going to see a series of presentations by Josephine on different aspects of PowerPoint. The first one will be about behavior, how you act, how you stand, and how you move when you're giving a presentation. The second one she will give is about signposting language. That is the language you use when you're organizing your slides and showing them to your audience. Finally, the third PowerPoint presentation is about the do's and don'ts, the things that you should and shouldn't do when you're giving a PowerPoint presentation. If you look at these and you use them when you do your own presentations, you will improve very much in the way that you give information to your audiences. When you're giving a presentation, your words count for only 10% of the impact on your audience. Your tone of voice is 40%, but it's your body language, the way you stand and the way you move, 50% has the greatest impact on your audience. Do dress professionally when you give a presentation. It makes a big difference. Do tell your audience your topic and your agenda, what you're going to talk about. Tell your audience when you're going to let them ask questions. Very important. Also, always use eye contact with your audience so they can see that you are looking at them and that you are including them in what you're presenting. Do not turn your back on the audience. It's rude and you lose them when you do that. Do use note cards. It's okay, but don't read from them openly. Don't read from textbooks. Don't read from wider notes. And do speak loudly and clearly. Don't rush your slides, and don't rush when you're speaking. And above all, enjoy yourself. Before you watch Joe's first presentation, look at the handout, Behaviors, Do's and Don'ts. You will see two columns, Presentation 1 and Presentation 2. Each one has a smiling face or a sad face. Tick where she does something well or does something badly. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to discuss Italy, which is an interesting country to visit. My name is Josephine Kennedy, and I'm in section CLF. Today, we're going to discuss general information and places to visit in Italy. First, let's look at general information. And as you can see from this map, um, Italy is located in the southern part of Europe, uh, Europe and the capital is Rome. Um, you can see the capital here. If you look here, this is the capital Rome. Now let's move on to talk about the weather. In Italy, you have every kind of weather. You can see mountains you, where you can go skiing with snow. You can see beautiful rain weather if you want to get out of the, um, if you want to, oh, if you want to get out of the desert. And also, um, you can get beautiful sunsets when it's very warm near the coast. The weather in Italy is wonderful, and I think you should go there. So. Let's move on to talk about places that you should visit. I recommend that you go to Rome and Florence if you visit Italy. In Italy, you can see the Colosseum, which is a very traditional old place. Also, you can go to the um, town squares. And in the town square in Rome, you can see many traditional buildings that are very nice. Also, you can go to the, wait. Uh, you can go to the Vatican. It is a 
the most famous landmark in Italy, and they have many tourist attractions there. That's the information about Rome. So now let's turn to Florence. I think you should visit Florence because they have many beautiful bridges and waterways and traditional churches. And from the tops of the churches, you can see beautiful views all around Italy. And I think that's why you should um, go there. So that is my presentation about Italy. Would you like to ask me any, um, would, would you like to ask any questions? Okay, thank you. If you go to Italy, I hope you enjoy it. Um, thank you. That's the end. You've now seen Jo give her first presentation on Italy. One or two of the things she did were okay, but let's just look at the things that she did not do so well. The audience might be a bit confused. She didn't say when questions were allowed until right at the end. Tell your audience at the beginning when they can have questions. She did, in the beginning, use eye contact, but as she began to lose the PowerPoint, she did not look at the audience as much. Did she stand in front of the screen? Yes, she did, quite a lot, and that blocks everything. Did she use note cards? Yes, but often she was reading from them or looking down at them while standing in front of the screen. She spoke slowly at the beginning, but again, it got faster, and sometimes it was not so clear. Her materials were not well organized. She went backwards and forwards looking at other notes. Again, she was smiling at the beginning, but as she began to use notes and look around, she didn't look so confident. It's important to smile and look confident. Let's now look at Joe's second presentation and see how she's improved. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me today. My name is Josephine Kennedy. I'm in section CLF here at Abu Dhabi Men's College. And today I will be talking with you about Italy. It's a wonderful country to visit. So to start with, I'd like to give you some general information and next, I'll suggest a couple of places that you might like to visit while in the country. So let's first look at what is very important, the location. As you can see, Italy is located in the southern part of Europe. And it's surrounded by ocean, so you have many long beaches. The most famous city that I think all of you will have heard of is its capital, Rome, which is located just here. So you know where it is. Now let's talk about the weather. In Italy, you can get any kind of weather that you want, which is very important coming from the desert where the weather doesn't change very much. You can go to the mountains where you can get snow and go skiing. You can also a lot, particularly along the coastlines, get beautiful thunderstorms and rain if you're looking for some more moist weather. And finally, along the coast, the, in the south of Italy, it's warm. Many, it's warm, <laughs> and you can get beautiful sunsets. Now, I'd like to talk about places to visit. And I'd like to recommend two of the most famous cities, Flo Rome and Florence. First, let's look at Rome. The most famous place in Rome that I highly recommend you visit is the Vatican. This is the seat of the Pope, and it's also one of the most famous structures in Italy. You can have tours around the Vatican any time that you visit throughout the year. I also recommend that you go to the Colosseum, which is uh, part of the ancient ru ruins of Rome. And finally, it's, I recommend that you just sit in the town square, surrounded by the architecture, and enjoy some delicious Italian coffee. <laughs> 